Have you always been a fan of Pokemon? Yes, um, I was. Even before uh, starting as a voice actor. Oh artist? yeah, yeah, yeah. I started when I I started watching it when it came out. I was 11 years old, so perfect. I was the perfect age. Um, yeah, I tried to play the cards. My mom only bought me like a small deck, so she's sitting back there. Very nice of her. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> hi, mom. Uh, but I watched the show, and then I got the show. Mm -hmm. And I continued being a fan. So. What was that audition process like? Uh, I went in to audition the first time. Uh, I It was on a Monday, and I was an irresponsible teenager, and I forgot that I had the audition. <laughs> and that morning I look at my calendar, because I, I had a paper calendar, like an at-a-glance calendar, like on my desk, a big one. I was, very, I was like a doer, you know? Yeah. Um, and I had to flip the page to see Monday, and I didn't look ahead for some reason. I thought, you know, I have an easy week coming up, and I look, and I, like my heart sank uh, out my butt. <laughs> and I ran to my friend's house, and I'm like, we gotta practice this immediately, because I have to sound like this person. And uh, we worked on it, and she's like, you're never gonna get this, you don't sound anything like her. And I went to the audition, and they were like, oh, this is a dub. And I'm like, what is that? And um, they taught me how to dub at the audition. I did not think I did well, but apparently I guess I did. Um, I, I guess I learned, I learned the dubbing process pretty quickly. I took to it quickly. Um, but I left that audition and cried my eyes out. And I, I still, to this day, never had a worse audition, I don't think. I haven't felt as bad at, 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 after an audition. Um, that I did that day. Um, and then there was a series of callbacks, and then I got word that I had the role, and that was amazing. Yeah. Sounds like the first day of Ash's Pokemon journey, right? <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 At least you didn't get attacked by a flock of Spearows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. Well, you know, I kind of did. Oh. I kind of did. Um, on the internet, there was, a, there was a flock of Spearow, and they were in the form of some college students who uh, formed a coalition against me <laughs> and were like, fire her and give give the role back to its righteous owners. And I'm like, what? I didn't steal anything. I didn't take anything. I'm just a 19-year-old actor who booked a job. So um, that was pretty awful. I got death threats and stuff. So Spiro, that's the perfect analogy. It's exactly what happened. And now I have a cat named Pikachu. And, um, you know, how in the beginning Pikachu and Ash didn't have the best relationship, Pikachu was just like zap, zap, zap. That's how my Pikachu was as well, so. But now we're best buds, and he doesn't bite me anymore, so. It's a good thing. Is that how you relate to Ash in some way? Or? It's the easiest way, yes, because I, in my daily life, I'm like, Pikachu. I say it with an accent. I don't, I don't say Pikachu. I'm like, Pikachu. I don't say no to him, I say not. I don't like saying no to an animal. No. So now that you have this iconic role, because mm -hmm. um, that's what it is at this point, um, yeah. are they starting to use your voice like across the different platforms? Like games, no. things like that? No. no, I did a Nintendo commercial for um, Pokemon Let's Go, and that's it. I think Ash is treasured in the anime. I, think. I don't know what, what the future holds. <laughs> okay, uh, I wanted to ask, so I'm a huge fan of like um, Pokemon Oxy though, and I grew up in the 90s though, and I wanted to just say, um, if you have, what was your first Pokemon game, and what is your favorite gen Pokemon, like Gen 1, Gen 2? Like um, my first Pokemon game was Pokemon Go. Oh, got it. Yes, I never played the. I never played video games growing up, mm -hmm. so I did not play any of the Pokemon games. Um, I played Tetris. That was that was it. And oh, I babysat a girl, and she loved Zelda, so we played Zelda. <laughs> Zelda super is still a great series. Still a great I know, still going super strong. Yeah, yeah it's great. So, um, my favorite gen is pro in the series. I would say Sun and Moon. Sunny. Yeah, yeah, but X Y was also really amazing yeah, story wise. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ash has had so many amazing Pokemon that I'm sure you've had more experience with than any of us even playing the games. Uh, what's your top six? 
Ooh, six. Yeah. All right, Meltan is my top one. Okay. I love Meltan. Uh, Pikachu, Mew, um, Apom. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, how many was that? Is it five? That's four. 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 That's four. 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 Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, Greninja. Yeah. Oh, nice. Our relationship is. <laughs> um, oh man, the pressure's on. I don't know. Sobble. <laughs> crying, always crying. So cute. So uh, Ash is like this at this point, it's immortal, really, immortal, yeah, like 10-year-old, as we, as we all know, but yeah. what does it mean to you as an actor that you have sort of this, you are this renewable source of motivation for like all the new generations that are coming up, and it's not like, you know, you're, like the character's getting older, like how does it feel to have new kids come around and then, you know, talk to you and yeah. meet you as the actor, like how is that experience as an actor? That is literally my favorite part of this whole show, mm -hmm. the fact that he doesn't age, he's there for every generation, he's there for our kids, your kids, everybody's kids. For our grandparents, he, he was there, um, and he will always be there. And you have this tenacious kid who is a great influence, I think, on kids. Um, he rescues Pokemon when they're not well. He always he's a good he's a good person. So um, yeah, was that part? Of, was that the part? Did I answer yeah. that? Okay, cool. cool. And it's how good. does it feel to watch Ash's journey develops throughout the seasons? As in every region, every league tournament, he does better and better, and in the Alola League, he finally becomes champion. So I don't know if he becomes champion. I honestly don't. Um, it may happen, it may not. We don't know. I know what happened in Japan. That doesn't mean it's going to happen here. Um, <laughs> so we'll have to see. I admire the fact that he's improving, and that uh, the, the fandom is gaining some respect for him. I love that. He deserves it, and uh, we'll see. But speaking about yeah. him winning champion, or maybe not that like you said, mm -hmm. uh, when he when he lost the most previous one with Greninja, how did you feel about that pain at all? Like, did you want him to win as well? Of course. Yeah. No, I always want him to win. I, it's it's really it's hard. It weighs on me that he never wins. <laughs> like, come on, dude. I mean, but he does. He does win. Yeah. The, yeah but. Um, yeah, of course, I'm, I want him to win. What is the loss of Ashes that most devastated you in an actor? It's like to experience... Losses against Paul. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. those were really... Ugh. That kid was... <laughs> <laughs> I personally hated him. Uh, not the actor, the, the character. <laughs> yeah, let's see. The high point of most of the Pokemon kind of arcs, so to speak, usually come down to his like competitions. But would you say that his true strength lies in like maybe other things that leads up mm -hmm. to it? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we know he's gonna head to a competition, we know that's gonna be a big face off and he's gonna lose apparently somewhere <laughs> in the competition, but yeah. we get so much leading up to that point. Do you think that's really what the series is about? Yeah. For me, yes, definitely. I, I, lo I love everything that happens outside of battle and the battle is just a cherry on top of the sundae. But the character development, all the, all the great stories and the things you can really learn. Uh, you can learn a lot from the battles too, but I think the, um, the stuff that you can, the, the, the humanity stuff, I think that comes in the scenes in between the battles. Just, just going back to you did the role, you say you had to sound like her, yeah. but um, you might have to do that for the audition, but now... Oh, I'm pretty sure you're putting your own spin on it and you know, take actually taking over this role now. Yeah. Can you speak to that? I didn't do it on purpose. It just kind of started happening and nobody stopped me and <laughs> I don't uh, it, you know, the character evolved a little bit and um, I think there is a beauty to having uh, more than one person occupy a role like that. Um, it's interesting to have different takes on a character. I don't think our takes are so drastically different. I think it's mo mostly in the voice. His essence is still, I think, very much the same. Would you agree? I, yeah. Yeah. I, think, yeah. I think he's the same Ash. He sounds different. Um, I also pl I'm placing him in a place that's more comfortable for me. Uh, how do you feel about Ash continuously having to take down organized crime? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm all for it. 
I think it's uh, I think it's very good for the world. I think it's good for humanity, and I think he's the right guy for the job. Wow. <laughs> we talked about earlier uh, in a different interview with how a lot of new anime that are coming out, like kindness, is becoming like a new superpower, like Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia. And it's kind of cool because Pokemon's kind of, it's always been there. It's already yeah. been there for so many years. Yeah. And like stuff like gestures like Ash, like giving away his Pokemon and stuff like, how does it feel to have that as the sort of strength as opposed to like, oh, he's, he always wins. He's, he's this brute strength guy. And like, it's yeah. kind of a cool message, right? Like, what does that mean to you as an actor to push that's that? That's actually, that's the one thing you should teach your kids. As someone with no children, I, I can say this. <laughs> is kindness, is to treat everybody you meet with with a base level of kindness because you don't know what people are going through. You don't know what drives them to behave the way they behave. If somebody seems like they're quiet or they're weird or they're like, you know, they're not mainstream and they're not regular and they're not popular, you gotta treat them with kindness because you don't know what they're going through at home, you don't know what they're going through in their head, and you don't know what's going on. So, just I think it's great that our show perpetuates that. Is there a particular moment in Pokemon where Ash displays kindness and empathy in a way that really moved you? Yes, in episode 1928. I, did I talk? I, I talked to the last group about this episode. I recently rewatched it. Um, he, uh, I forgot what it's called now. He rescues a bunch of Pokemon from the snow. He rescues a Pokemon from a tree. He gets into his first fight with Serena. And I love that. Um, what was your question? Oh, my question was just a moment that really stuck out to you, or Ash displayed kindness. Yes, yeah, when he rescued that Pokemon from a tree. It's so small, but it was it was so poignant for me. Also yeah. because my mom and I, we work in, uh, we foster kittens. Yeah. So we don't actually rescue them, but um, I work with some rescues that you know, are out there every single day, day and night, and taking calls from people who are like, um, I have a cat in my backyard, help me. It's like, <laughs> do it yourself, first mm -hmm. of all. But it's, it's incredible work that they do. So that, that tie-in is really different. But if, if you, I see the analogy in it personally, so um, I think it's a beautiful lesson. If, if, if a kid comes away from watching the show, seeing how Ash treats his Pikachu and his other Pokemon and how much he cares about them and how worried he is when they're hurt and how he takes them straight to the Nurse Joy when, when they're, you know, when they need help. Um, it's a great lesson. If they get the analogy, it's great. Bringing up Lisa, uh, speak about your relationship with her um, being an uh, you know, uh, iconic voice actor mm -hmm. and then you now directing. Her. Now, yeah, 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 yeah. Now directing you yeah. on this project. Yeah, it's awesome. It's amazing to sit with somebody. She also she also coaches. So she is really sought after and I'm so lucky to get to work with her because I, I learn from her every every day. She's an amazing director and she's so easy to work with and so fun to work with and so generous and just the best. She's the best. She's my favorite. Speaking of uh, choosing Pokemon, you've also played several Pokemon in the show yes. uh, itself. Like you were Ash's Raptor and Dawn's Miri. Mm -hmm. I was wondering what was your favorite Pokemon to portray? You literally answer all my questions. <laughs> uh, Dawn's Miri is my absolute favorite Pokemon to voice. What about, about, what about her was so fun? Oh my goodness. Her little, her little flirtation with Pikachu. Oh my goodness. The cutest thing ever. Um, just the way, the way I made her sound. I just love her. She's so cute. Awesome. I know we were talking about the kindness and stuff and some something a little deeper, but for the kids back home, yeah. what's like your favorite Pokemon battle that's gone down? Ooh, boy. Oh, my goodness. I feel like my whole life is flashing before my eyes right now. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, the one that's coming up. Ooh, okay. I don't know if he's going to win or lose, but uh, <laughs> it's pretty epic. It's a good episode. Um, one more question. Yeah. How about the Pokemon is that if Ash didn't choose Pikachu mm -hmm. and he could have chosen one of the other three, which one would you have chosen yourself personally? Personally, I would have chosen Charmander. Because yeah. Yeah. of the jacket. The jacket. <laughs> the jacket. <laughs> this jacket's red. This jacket's red. Charmander. 
That's true. Oh, he's looking more orange. So true, he's true. Fire. Fire. I'm fire. Yeah. Cool. All right. I don't know. And maybe is there anything you want to say to the fans? Just you have been watching um, and struggling and seeing motivation. Hi, fans. Hi, <laughs> hi fans. Uh, you know, uh, follow me on social media. I'm active. I'm hanging out with people. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank 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 you. Th